This is Seer Supreme, and this is Seer's Village. Seer Supreme has been trapped in this chunk for the last 1,300 hours, and over the last five months, we've tackled some crazy challenges. We've had some incredible RNG drops, but the tasks we have left are some of the hardest that we've had to face. So join me as I take on RuneScape one chunk at a time, starting in Seer's Village. This is Seer Supreme, and this is my journey. Today is a momentous day, and I am so excited that you are going to share this moment with me. We have just hit double figures in our one chunk series and this is it this is episode 10 and today as custom the task list is on the screen and we tick off some big big ones today not the biggest don't get too excited but some pretty big ones come off this uh, one thing i did want to just do up front is tick off one of these already that I lost the footage for and completely forgot about in the last episode. So, the Twitch's gloves, we got them. So, make that disappear, baby. And now we should just reshuffle these things around. Ah, perfect. That looks good to me. Right, let's get on with this bloody episode. Yes! Holy moly! 97 woodcutting, what is going on? This type of gaming only comes around once every probably couple of weeks because there's a lot of people weird like me. But here we go, we're two levels away. That's it, two. I'm so excited to get 99 that, I don't know, I might run around in my underpants. Or so, I don't know. For the eagle-eyed and eared viewers out there you will uh, understand what I'm about to say but I just recorded the end of a video and I mentioned all oh, right <laughs> okay uh, right well uh, just give me one second I'll, uh, I'll finish this this thought train okay so I'll finish my thought train I'll then open the box and then I'll do the thing I'm about to talk about, okay, in that order. So, where I left off was in the end of a video, I talked about how Source has just updated the, the kind of chunk tasks to actually include more stuff that was just generally missed, um, which is great for a lot of people because it means that you know, if you're just starting out, you get the best possible understanding of what tasks you have. But for someone like me, and you know, more importantly, people have been doing it way longer than me, uh, there are a bunch of tasks that have just appeared on some people's uh, chunk task list. I've only had one extra from what Source did, which was lucky, and it was to buy a house from this fellow here. So I believe it costs 100, uh, 100k, it costs 1k. Uh, and I believe I can do it without any request requirements and I can do it even though I don't have a portal or anything nearby. So, should be fair game. So, let's open this bad boy, shall we? Come on. Okay. Well, we tried. So, talk to this fellow. How can I get a house? 1,000 coins. It would be in Remington. But I can move it to Tavoli if I go that way, which is fine. So do I want to buy a starter house? Yes, please. Thank you. Go to the Remington House Portal and you'll find your house ready for you to start building in it. Oh, and I got a little book. The Construction Guide. So that's going to go in the bank. Uh, and I'm never going to use it until I get a bookcase in my beautiful new house. Then I can use it. I got a mystery box. And then probably about 40 minutes later, I got another one. But I was so tired that I was like, ah, I'll open it in the morning. So it's the morning. So let's open it. Get that stale baguette. Move on. Jesus Christ. What a pain in my bum. 
moly. That was one, two, three, four. How many did I build? I only built four and I got four. <laughs> that is so busted. Oh dear. Now we better run back to bank and get some more logs. Hopefully this goes five for five. <laughs> I went five for five. Got six for six. We can do this. We can do a perfect beehive run. Boo. Boo game. Boo. And boosh. Ten smithing. We are... This is... I'm doing the quotes thing with my fingers. This is halfway to 20. I mean, it could be. I don't know. I, I doubt I should have checked these things. Yesterday, while I was on my laptop, playing... Uh, well, playing. Watching uh, South Park with my girlfriend. Uh, the first thing was that I got a mystery box, which I haven't opened yet, because I wanted to open it with you beautiful people. So let's do that first. Fingers crossed. Oh my god! Oh my god. That's an upgrade. That's best in slot. No way. I, in my mind, I was like, we just need the stale baguette, we just need the stale baguette, but we don't. We also needed that. Oh, holy shit. Yes! That is so good. Let's uh, whack that on. Oh! You beautiful, beautiful man. Well, that's... That's changed everything. When we go back to... Uh, uh, elementals... That is going to be so much better. So much easier. We're going to take far less damage. That's so good. Uh, and then the other thing. After that amazing revelation. Uh, somebody yesterday. Called It's a Ben. Turned up. Wearing a full clown outfit. And running around like a madman. Uh, emoting at me. We were saying zero words. By the way. Absolutely zero words. Just running around. Uh, he then gave me a a bond. So many, many thank yous to that person for dropping by uh, and giving me a bond. That is so, so helpful to me and I appreciate it greatly. I just wish that he had turned up while I was on my computer so I could record what happened because it was hilarious. Uh, but if that person does listen to this or watch this video, then... You're the best. Thank you so much. But now, uh, I need to figure out how to uh, redeem this thing, which I was watching Volte's video the other day and he seemed to have a lot of trouble with it. So I'm going to assume I'm going to do the same. Uh, and then we're going to get back to wood cutting. Bang, bang, boom. That is what we love to see. We are one singular level away from one of the biggest goals of this entire account. I am so excited. Now it's all about countdown to 99. So 1.2 million XP left to go. Should probably take me, I don't know, two or three days. Probably be by the end of the weekend, I would, I would say. Uh, it's Thursday now, just for a bit of, uh, what's the name? Can't remember the word. I'm distracted. Um, so yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is probably enough time for me to get there. We'll see. M maybe things will change. Uh, but we still have the beaver. And I'm going to announce right now that I am not actually fully decided on leaving the chunk before pets yet. I know I set the goal at the beginning to say basically you know we either get 99 or we get the pet and then in the next chunk we get 13 and a half mil xp blah 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 you know that you know the spiel but uh i have not made that decision yet so who knows we'll see what happens we've got a long time left in here we've still got loads of stuff left to do so i'll, I'll, I'll make a decision before the end when am i gonna get this bloody blasted 
beaver. I can't. But oh, why does this keep happening? Hey, thirty fishing. Jesus Christ, that is literally just from doing random events. I have not touched a net or a fishing rod or anything. That is, that's. I like that. That is how some of these skills should be trained without putting any effort in at all. Is uh, collecting sturdy beehive parts so that I could high arc them for the one mil GP we need. I accidentally got a construction level. So now I am level two construction. Essentially how it works, as far as I understand it to be, is that you get one construction XP every few logs that you put in, I think. So technically, I must have put in a hell of a lot of logs over the past, you know, four months to be able to get it because what? I think it was like, you know, it must have been 90 XP I needed for level two, or maybe 83, I, I don't know, I don't know how this all works, that's 48, so they're all different, uh, I don't know, something like that, so that's that's a fair amount of logs that I've actually stored away, oh, and we've also just hit 12 million woodcutting XP, and also we're almost at 16 million total XP, and also, 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 we got 825 total level. What a clip, eh? You're getting bang for your buck right now. Just in case I haven't, or you don't remember. Uh, I've got a second chunk picker, which is one that I've just got that essentially I, I tick off as I go. And then the HNBL chunk picker one is the kind of the main one which I tick off at the end of videos and that means that I get to just consistently keep up to date with what I've done and what I haven't done and not have to kind of mess around figuring it out as I'm editing and all that kind of thing but what I do with this second chunk picker is I also add in side goals which sometimes I say that I'm doing and sometimes I don't so I thought this time it'd be a good time to just say what those side goals actually are um, and I think I've mentioned uh, all the impling drop tables before so Puro Puro is I think the closest one is this wheat field here just above Catherby and I've got to essentially go two to the right before I get that so you know it's going to be a, probably a while before we get to Puro Puro from where I am but what that does mean is that if I do get Puro Puro I'll have to get all the implant drop tables anyway all the way up to uh, Lucky Implins uh, I don't think I have to include Lucky Implins because that's like all of the clue drop tables but I have to definitely go up to Dragon and get all the Dragon ones um, which obviously will take a long time and it will be a pain in the butt so I was just thinking that if I'm already here catching implants a lot anyway and I'm not overly frightened of new grinds although maybe some of the implant ones are a bit ridiculous um, I'm just catching them anyway so I've been ticking those off as, as I've gone along but what I've also now dropped on there as well is bird nests because this again came with the recent source chunk update that he did um, so that includes the ring nests and the seed nests um, but also there's another thing on there that I ticked just out of interest and that was uh, buying one of everything from all shops as well and again these aren't in my rules so I don't have to do these things but I'm just thinking I'm already here I'm going to be here for a while, like as of right now I've been playing for almost 48 days in game time, which is you know like 1200 hours or something, just in this chunk. So and I've probably still got another three to 400 hours maybe left. So 
in that time I'm probably going to have enough money and items and whatever to buy things from shops and catch implins and get nests and all that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd just be a cool thing to have on the side. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to just do it right now. I've just got a full invent. So uh, the only shop we have technically, well technically we've got two I guess. The first one is the, the pub. So buying a beer, buying a stew and buying uh, a meat pie. So we've already bought beer, we've already bought stews, which are these ones, and we've already, you've seen me buy about a billion meat pies at this point. So that's all done. But the other shop is this one, the forestry shop. So we've got all the collection log stuff, but there's also these three. So the ritual mulch, the secator's blade, and there's also the sawmill voucher. So what I might do, is I'll get this stuff 10 oak logs, 5 willow, easy peasy. This is 10 maple, easy peasy. And then this is just bark. So let me just go and grab that stuff and then we can buy out the whole of the shop that, that we can. Obviously, I can't get the other stuff yet. Don't have any red ones. Okay, I think that's everything. So, Secator Blade 1. Oh, I did it the wrong way around, silly boy. Okay, now we're ready. So there's the Sector Blade. There's the Ritual Mulch. And that is the Sawmill Voucher. And that buzz you just heard was my girlfriend texting me, not your phone, so do not panic. Um, so yeah, that's everything from the shop. Shop, sir. So it's just it's just some more stuff man it's just fun you know what i mean we're we're doing 200 percent series you know why not here we are again another mystery box another roll of the dice come on let's get some luck ah oh, snake eyes i don't know what i i i'm not a I, i'm not a gambler i have no idea what i just said it could have been good could have been bad Pretty sure it was bad. But this is definitely a pretty bad. Oh, Killer Relic and Market Guard as well. So, not even kill a man for a key. Uh, oh well. Maybe next time. We are hopefully about to hit two milestones right now. Uh, but we're definitely going to get one. So, here's one. That is 27 crafting. Which means I can now cut emeralds, which is amazing. Uh, that 43 crafting goal is looking more and more possible. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the bank. I'm going to... Oh, no, we're going to catch this first. What are we going to get? Hmm, well that's pointless. Uh, yeah, we're going to go back to the bank. We're going to get out all of our emeralds and we're going to pray that this gets us to 28 crafting which is what we need to get the hard leather body so i will see you very shortly and uh, well there it is didn't even get through the first invent we can now craft hard leather armor so I'm just going to quickly finish doing all of these emeralds and then craft ourselves some hard leather bodies, eh? Down to our last four. Three, two, one. Ooh, close to another level there. So that's that. Now, unfortunately, I've just realized I don't have any thread. So we can't make the three hard leathers that we've got into hard leather bodies for the uh, chunk gold which is very unfortunate because this has to come from baby implings so essentially I'm just going to go back to trees like I have been for the last five months <laughs> uh, and I've just got to wait for some to spawn if I'm really desperate which I'm not right now to obviously craft a hard leather body um, I'll just stay here, but if I'm super desperate for it, I will 
hop worlds until I find one or ten or however many it takes me to get a thread okay dun 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 news update that was so stupid that sounded funnier in my head um, I thought I'd just give you guys an update on where I'm up to right now um, so I have amassed almost 300k out of the 1 million that we need to do the final kind of monetary task uh, which is a million for the bank upgrade um, and I've been kind of alking sturdy beehive parts and I did all of my uh, where are they all of my staffs as well and then I kind of went through and had a look at all this stuff previously and was like meh well it doesn't really make sense to you know alk this or alk that and you know we're, we're kind of making our way through this stuff for the crafting grind so maybe I can alk these in the future but I'm getting a, just a little just, just a little, little, little bit impatient with wanting to tick some more tasks off because you know we're getting to the point now where they're super long tasks so what I've decided to do right now is because we can't get any other logs other than you that's kind of the max level uh, until the next chunk and we've got 256 bowstrings currently I'm essentially going to make a load of you long bows and they're going to elk for 768 I've had a lot of people suggesting it anyway and I was I knew I was going to eventually but I was kind of putting it off because I had these long grinds that I was doing anyway so stop saying anyway good plan so essentially what that meant was is that I was going to try and get as, as far through the grinds as I could alkin things that I get from the grinds like sturdy beehive parts from woodcutting and all of the staffs from the magic grind um, and then I was thinking that potentially by the end of that we would be there or very close to being there but I feel like there'll still be some room for a bit extra cash anyway so because I've been doing woodcutting for ages now and we're currently only 284k away from 99 I thought screw it I'm gonna take a break from woodcutting consistently for days on end uh, and I'm just gonna make a load of you longbows so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to elk them all and then I'm going to show you how much I have. We have finished the high elk session. So we had about 250-ish U longbows and they elked for just under 200k. So if we add that, oh god, we're going to have to skip this. So now we've almost got half a million. Half a million! That is so exciting. So now, essentially we've got to get to 99 and then we'll go back to elementals, get some more of these bad boys uh, and then see where we end up. I'm hoping that we get to buy the bank slots before we finish the grinds, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm sure we will. We'll be right there. Everything we need from a mystery box, other than the stale baguette. Seeing as last time, I forgot about the steel plate. And I'm sure there was another time I forgot about something else that they gave you. But now, I am 19% sure that we just need the stale baguette. So, we've been getting quite a lot of luck recently actually to be fair um, it's kind, I'm kind of spooned to be honest on a lot of things so does that mean this is the time oh well you, well, well, you know uh, and that's also pretty pretty useless but yeah well yeah yeah well you know yeah well bah. finish up 99 wood cut in on the forestry world now because that means that I can do as many fox events as I can pre-99 hopefully reduce the amount of time I spend post-99 trying to get the bloody fox whistle 
I'm kind of also hoping that I get the beaver. I was having a thought earlier that wouldn't it be so, so cool if the, the final log that gets me 99 also gets me the beaver. That would be so goddamn hype. But knowing my luck, I'm probably going to be here till like 110 wood cutting or something. Wood cutting milestone. 13 million wood cutting XP. In 33k, we'll be done. And I would hazard a guess, which I'm going to say is a guess because I keep saying I'm this and that and the other, and then I get proven wrong instantly by myself. But I would hazard a guess that the next clip that you are going to see is a very small 99 party <laughs> where I've invited. The entire chunk community to come visit me in Sears Village, and I, I would, if I get one person, I'll, I'll be happy. I'll be happy with that. If I get no people, then you can all feel sorry for me in the comment section. <laughs> I'm so alone. Baby Implin gave me some seaweed, and with that, I think actually we are only about five more drops away from finishing the baby implant drop table um, I'm genuinely convinced now that there's a potential that by the time we finish this chunk I will have finished the baby young and gourmet implant drop tables which just means that if we get puro puro it's just three grinds I don't have to do because I'm not actively seeking out implings anymore. If I see them, I grab them. So it's not actually taking any time away from what I'm doing. So, you know, free money, as they say. Range body. Look at that. Look how buff I look. I look like bloody smell. That's the Dark Souls smell, not the Hobbit. Is he smo? Smog? Smow. Smog. I don't know. I'm only going to make one though. Just because I am relatively concerned that I'm going to get another, I don't know, hard leather something task in the future. And it's going to be, uh, I don't know, something that I need to do as part of the chunk. And then I'm just screwed because I've just used all my hard leather and I have to go find some more. So I'm not going to make any more, but we've made it, we've put it on, that means we are done zo. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't mean to do that. I was going to try and get some people to come over, and then I was just looking at my other screen, and then all of a sudden, I got 99 woodcut in. God, I'm so dumb. But, you know, it's pretty big. <laughs> pretty, pretty big news. Imagine, if you will, somebody spending five months of their life, five, get to the pinnacle of those five months and then piss it up the wall like a bloody idiot. Well, that was me, as you just saw. But what I wanted to take a bit of your time to do is now lay out the five grinds that we've got left and within these five grinds we've obviously got beaver we've got rocky we've got the crafting grind we've got the magic grind and we've got the 1 million GP that we need what I want to do is just take a little bit of time to say how far we've come and how far we need to go before we finish let's start with a little beavery boy so up until now we've cut 700 normal logs 2,600 oak logs, 4,500 willow logs, 100,000 maple logs, and 26,000 yew logs, which I believe will leave us with approximately about 100,000 more logs left to be cut to be on rate for the beaver. Next is everyone's favourite little trash panda, Rocky. Uh, currently we've done 25,000 pickpockets on men and women and we'll need to do another 1,599,296 more pickpockets before I get to 99 thieving. However, 
to be on rate to get Rocky by only pickpocketing men and women, I should be on rate by the time we get to 80 thieving. Crafting is a bit of an outlier as technically it's a side goal, not a main goal, but we did decide previously that we would use gem drop tables uh, implings and random event items to try and be able to complete it uh, but so far we've made 55 pheasant pieces we've cut 200 gems and we've made 230 bowstrings and to be able to get to the 43 requirement we'll need to either make 2500 pheasant items 2500 bowstrings or 500 more gems magic arguably the most strenuous grind that we're going to have to do to get to 79 to cast in tangle from the 58 magic that we currently are we're going to have to cast in between 20 and 40 thousand earth blasts which will require between 20 and 40 thousand death runes and between 60 and 120 thousand air runes money 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 now arguably the easiest grind that we've got left i don't think you can really call it a grind but uh, we've got 769,000 GP and we only need one mil. So that means either we need to get 77 sturdy beehive parts, 257 staffs or 293 U-longs to finish that off. Little young gimplin. And that is actually a new one, I believe. Pretty sure. Let's go back to the bank and have a, have a little gander. But I'm looking at my chunk picker. It's not my main one, my, my side picker. <laughs> um, and according to this, it says I don't have soft clay. Great. So now I've only got three more things on the young impling drop table. Um, I've got an easy clue scroll, which is one in 50. I've got a garden pie, which is one in a hundred. I think I did get garden pies, but they weren't from Young. I think they were from Gourmet. And Oak Plank. And both of those are one in a hundred. So I reckon if I just keep grabbing these implings as they appear, because sometimes they appear here by the maple trees. Like I literally see the little puff of smoke as they appear into the world. Uh, but a lot of the time, I think they spawn somewhere down here and then slowly make their way up. Um, or I think some of them spawn up here somewhere and come down. So I think implants actually just spawn generally around me, which is... Oh my Jesus Christ. Cut that from the video. Cut that. That didn't happen. Cut it. No, you don't. No, stop it. You didn't see that. No. No. All right. We, we, we have not stepped out of the boundaries ever. And if anyone asks you that, you tell them never. God damn it. I'd just like to say, in my own defense, before you start flaming me, flaming me in the comments, which, you know, you are perfectly entitled to do because I am stupid. But I did, when I started the account, come from Lumbridge and I ran across White Wolf Mountain the wrong way obviously um, I should have watched Armadillo Ninja's videos before I decided to run the way I did uh, but I did come up through Catherby and I already got all the music tracks on the way here in episode 0 0.5 or episode 0 whatever you want to call it you know before I actually started recording properly so you know it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Please. Please don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Please. Thank you. Wait. What's going on? The fox hasn't spawned. Oh, it has. It's over there. <laughs> what are you doing over there, fella? I mean, he probably should be over there so he doesn't get trapped in uh, these bloody traps. I was generally convinced that fox wasn't there then and we were just about to have an easy ride. Because this little bastard, even though I click on these and I go through this kind of, oh, I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get it disarmed. Somehow he still just like wanders on it and then instantly gets hit for a 34. I don't get it. Like surely it should give me enough time to disarm the trap, right? 
Anyway, whatever. We just hit level 46 Hunter from doing this. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'll check after I'm done, but I'm pretty sure that means I can now bare hand Earth Implings, I believe. Which, I don't think they specifically have anything on their drop table that I need to be concerned about. But maybe the pickaxe. I don't think there's any shooting stars in Sears. At least not that I can get to in my chunk. But it would be an interesting thing to quickly have a look at actually. Because if I do have access to stars, I'm pretty sure that means I'll have to get 90 mining. To do oh, didn't finish that one off. Oh, and that bloody little thing. Don't do that stupid... Oh, bloody hell. I don't understand why it takes so long to bloody do these things. Anyway, yeah, I'll have to get 90 mining. Because I'll have to mine a tier 9 star if it drops in the chunk. Which is, you know... No, I didn't get anything. What a surprise. Um, yeah, implings, 46 bare hand earth implings. So, give me a second and I'll have a look and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so I've had a look. The only real thing on the list is uh, the pickaxe. But, luckily, I don't have any shooting stars in this chunk right now. So I can't actually, I don't need to get any mining levels because there's no ores or anything like that. Other than maybe, I guess I could train at the earth elementals, the ore variants, and get loads of uh, elemental ore. But, actually, one, just give me one sec again. Let me just figure this out. Okay, I just added the Mithril Pickaxe to the Chunk Picker to see if it unlocked any more grinds, and it didn't. Which, unless I'm missing something, or, you know, I'm trying to create a rule or a grind that's going to be even harder for a Supreme Chunker to do, I don't know. But, yeah, it seems to me like I don't have to worry about Earth Implings. Now I can, if I see them, I can just grab them. Um, there's a few things on there rune wise which might be okay to get and I guess all the ores that they drop would be good just to stack up just in case um, But yeah, there's nothing really interesting on that list that I'll I'll need right now unless I uh, Start getting things and start realizing stuff which is entirely possible, but We're just gonna We're just gonna carry on cutting these trees uh, We're getting fairly close now to uh, 14 mil wood cutting XP uh, and I'm basically doing this until my health is full and then I'll either go and do elementals for a bit or thieving for a bit but we've only got five minutes till another system update it's a Tuesday they said Wednesdays bloody liars <laughs> come on yes oh yes all I need is that bloody beaver and we're golden. Come on! I'm so excited. So excited. I want that fox pet and I will get that fox pet. We are back again. Look, look, look at all this space. Look at all this bloody space we've got now. Amazing. Well, let's tick off some more stuffs. So we can start with Hard Other Body, Dunzo. We can do Twitch's Gloves now, Dunzo Washington. And we can also do Player Owned House. So we are down to the final eight. But these are in here twice for some. Oh no, wait! Fox Whistle! Come on! Use your brain, boy. Use your brain. We did that as well, don't forget. We did it, all right? Seven left, but because Rocky and Beaver are in there twice, five left. Five tasks left. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited as well, because I'm, I'm racing all these other Supreme Chunkers 
to leave my chunk so I can get that bronze medal. However, I think Fala Daddy's going to beat me. But, you know, he might not. You never know. So, that's it for this episode. We've had a great time. Well, I have anyway. I hope you have. Uh, We've got a lot done. And now, we are seriously on countdown to completion. I feel like we're in March right now, end of March. I think we'll be out of this chunk by the very latest end of June. That's what I'm thinking right now. So excited. But, as always, just a little thing for you people out there. I want you to know that there is now a Discord for you know, within the Hannibal verse, and I, as well as the, the the few people that have joined it so far, um, it would make us feel a lot better if you were there. And that is a safe space for you to come along and talk about any of the troubles you have. Uh, and I'm sure me and multiple other people already in there will lend a kind ear to try and make you feel better about whatever you've got going on. Uh, and we would be honoured to do that more than anything else. So come along and join us. Don't be frightened to say hello because we're all super kind people. So a big thank you to the three people, the three new people coming in at the soothsayer level. Uh, first of all is Scott Reeve, Matt W and Radio Los Santos for the win. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time, babies. Mm